Hello folks, welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks here on YouTube. And I just wanted to do a quick uh, message video and say thank you very much, Rideshare Professor, for posting uh, my video on your channel for you know everyone to listen to that message. Uh, it's really important. And don't forget, folks, uh, you know, the 17th, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day is the uh, the strike for us drivers not to drive that day. Now, you might say, well, you know, if you really absolutely are, your back is against the wall and you can't, you have to drive for no whatever reason, we all understand that. But <clears throat> most of us really, because you know, not everyone's going to strike, but if enough of us do that, you know, the, and plus you don't think that, <laughs> you don't think that Uber and all these companies don't watch these videos on YouTube. They know what's going on. They have a whole team of in de different departments at their company that just probably watches videos to see where the drivers uh, are and what they're saying because <laughs> they react sometimes to what we say. Now, they may not fix everything, but they, they're trying to be one step ahead of us to screw us even more <laughs> with money and everything else. And with gas prices so high, folks, you really have to pick and choose what you take, where you go, <clears throat> because especially if you're delivering food, <clears throat> you need to know the market you're in, the places you're taking the food to, and where is the drop-off points so that you might have a chance to get something else on the on the other side. So let's let's just say you take an order that's going 10 miles for $20, which is decent because it's $2, you know, it's double the money, so it's one to one you don't want a one to one if you take uh 10 miles for uh one dollar i'm sorry for ten dollars you're all, you're cutting your your money in half because now it's less and then look at the gas and do the math on how much the miles in your car what you get per mile and then take you have to minus off the miles you've driven and then see what you are getting on the bottom end so when you do all that math, you might say, geez, I'm getting screwed here. You're going to have to work longer hours outside, you know, all day long, some of us, right? If you're a full-timer, you know. Um, anyway, so I'm a little behind in videos, folks. I have some videos I want to post during the next week or so um, that I already made. And then, you know, when I go out and I drive, I try to do little quick 10-minute videos, whatever, um, just to talk about certain things that come up during the shift so um anyways i want to thank all of the new subscribers here that have come over from rideshare professor's channel and uh, i also like pedro doordash santiago's channel and i do like hannibal is hungry's channel he's he's very good however you know folks i'm gonna tell you the way it is the way you know i'm not gonna put any mustard ketchup over the uh the situation um to make it sweet or taste good you, you we we all have to like wake up realize that these companies are screwing us we have to try everything we can to have them change their policies i mean look at all of the companies i mean all the gas prices going up all the food prices this company should be doing just what those companies are doing and raising the, the fares but giving the fares back to the drivers because the companies are making hand over fist, folks. They, they're stealing from us. DoorDash in the past have, has been caught. A lot of these companies have been sued, and they had to pay out, you know, a, a class action lawsuits and stuff in the past. But just because they do that, let's say they stole, let's say they steal a thousand dollars every six months from you, but they get caught, and now in the class action suit with say a million people they have to pay out uh they, they won right so it's a 60 million dollar lawsuit or 20 million whatever they the people win and they say oh you've won and we're sending you out 999 uh and you won in in court right if they've stolen two thousand dollars and you're getting back 999 then that's just basically like a uh a slap on the wrist and it's a fine for them they, they're they well good giving you 999 for stealing two grand out of you out of your pocket right and it's probably way more than that folks if you do if you really do the math because we should be making way way more money than um than we are uh we're basically doing slave work you know 
And a lot of us love driving and everything, but we don't like to be suckers or slaves, you know? So with that said, folks, I'm going to let you go. I wanted to, again, thank Rideshare Professor for posting the video that he did on his channel. And uh, please stick by this channel because I will be posting videos from time to time. I don't post every day or anything, but I will be posting, um, you know, a lot of videos down the road. And if you've not watched the other videos that I created from the beginning, all right, you really need to, especially there's like an hour and a half, two hour video that explains a lot of things to you <clears throat> about what Agenda 2030 is in Agenda 21 and with Rosa Corey. Um, you definitely want to check that out. Whatever the longest, I can't remember the name of it because I'm not looking at my page, but it's a long video that's like an hour and a half or a little more than that. You definitely want to watch that video. All right, folks. So anyways, until the next time, I guess I'll see you guys later, guys and gals. And um, like I said, hit the subscription button, the notification bell, and the like button. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks a lot. Take care.